Okay, so we have decided to fill up a spherical balloon with helium and um, at, a, at a rate of 4 cubic inches per second. Now the question is, at what rate is the radius increasing, the radius of the balloon, of course, when the volume of the balloon is 36 pi cubic inches at that very moment when the volume is 36 pi cubic inches okay so our question is what is the RDT essentially which is the rate in which the radius is increasing with respect to time of course so we know that volume the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed Okay, so now I, I can differentiate this with respect to time. So I can find DDT of both sides. Oh, forgot the 4 over 3. There we go. Okay, so differentiating V with respect to time. We can use implicit differentiation, so we have D dv of v times dv dt. And of course, the derivative of v with respect to v is just 1. So this whole thing here is equivalent to 1. So we can essentially just cancel it out. Over on the other side, I can actually take the 4 over 3 pi and place it in front of the derivative because it's just a constant. And d dt of r cubed is d dr of r cubed, or the derivative of r cubed with respect to r, times dr dt, which is ultimately what we're looking for. Okay, so now we already have several elements. dv dt is equal to 4 pi over 3. Now, the derivative of r cubed with respect to r is just r, sorry, 3r squared, according to the power rule. And we're multiplying that by dr dt, of course. Now we have all elements that we, um, that we essentially need to figure out dr dt. We have dv dt which is just 4 cubic inches per second. But we don't have r. But we can easily find, find out what r is, can't we? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. What are we going to do? We're going to plug in 36 pi in for the volume and solve for r. So here we have 36 pi equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now I can divide both sides by pi and multiply both sides by 3 over 4. So those cancel out. 3 over 4 times 36 is 27. So r cubed is equal to 27 and we can take the cubic root of both sides of course. So r is equal to 3. The cubic root of 27 is just 3. Excellent. So now we can plug in. Let me change the color. Everything's getting too, uh, too blue. <laughs> um, OK, so dv dt is just 4. So we have 4 pi over 3 times 3 r squared. Now we found out that r is 3 at the very moment that the volume is 36 pi, of course, times dr dt. Now over here, the, the threes cancel out. And I'm just going to keep working over here, because I ran out of room over here. So 4 is equal to 4 pi times 3 squared is 9. 
times dr dt. Then I can divide both sides by the of the equation by 36 pi. Why 36? Well, because 4 times 9 is 36. So 36 pi. Pi's cancel out. 4 times 9 is 36. They cancel out with the 36. So we end up with now 4 over 36 is just 1 over 9. So dr dt is equal to 1 over 9 pi. So that is the rate in which the radius is changing with respect to time. 1 over 9 pi inches per second. That's it.